Welcome to Gary's Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace and I'm going to show us how to make a cloudy sleeve. In our last tutorial, I explained to us after cutting our dress that will be showing us this wonderful and beautiful sleeve. So here we are today. I'm sure you're anticipating already. I have my basic material. This material can be anything of your choice, Ankara, plain material, satin. You can go with any material of your choice. And I'm also going to use um, my veil net or tool, whatever name um, you're familiar with. We're going to use this as well in this tutorial. So what we're going to cut out first is a basic sleeve. You can always go with any design of your sleeve. Any one is fine. But I'll be using um, a bell sleeve in this tutorial and it's going to come out mm, sweet. So the basic sleeve which is going to be the first one i'll be using the length of seven inches i had it to eat for my folding that's eight inches the round sleeve is what i use in folding so we'll be using the round sleeve divided by two plus 2.5 inches to be on the safer side you can make it plus three inches since we're still going to you know run some sewing on it now i have folded using my round sleeve divided by two plus three inches i had it three now I took four inches. This is an which is a normal basic sleeve. I took four inches and the round sleeve plus two. The round sleeve divided by two plus our same allowance is eight inches for this measurement. So go with your measurements and draft out your basic sleeve. Here is going to be the crown. To go about this, you can um first slant this. This is um, very easy. You can slant this. Then take the total measurements, which is the total measurement here is 11, 11 inches. To get the midpoint, that's 5.5 .5 inches. This is the midpoint. Now, what I'm going to do is my crown will come and come down below this five, um, the midpoint, which is 5.5 .5 inches, before I continue the sketch, just like this. Then I can just go ahead and bring out my shape so this is the basic sleeve then i'll come back to cut my flare then you can use um either single double or full flare i have a tutorial on how to cut different types of flare i'm sure it's going to be so 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 useful for you in cutting the flare now let's do that all right to cut the flake I, I folded my fabric and i'll be cutting out a single flake the round sleeve measurement here is 14 inches i cut out um eight inches with my seam allowance that's 16. so this is my 16 inches divided by two like i told us i have a tutorial on how to cut different types of flare for better understanding so this is my this is going to be the round sleeve measurements. I took the length to the point so it should be equal, just like that. Then I have the length. The length I'll be needing for the sleeve, the remaining length is 6 inches. I added 1 inch to make it 7 inches. So this is my length of 7 inches. And we are going to cut. I'm still going to place this to cut one more because I'll be cutting out two. I'll use the remaining, the other one to turn. So just place this to cut for the other flake. So you can go ahead and cut the other sleeve just the way we've done here. Just go ahead and cut the same thing for the second sleeve. Now we've cut the basic sleeve. This is a bell sleeve. The next thing we're going to cut is the veil material and I'll be using the length of 3 inches. So you can cut as long as much as you want for the tool now. I'll be using 3 inches, just 3 inches and I'll be cutting it out like that. 
so you can cut it as long as you want and you can cut as many as you want i'm going to show you how to join so quickly let's cut this then we'll move to how to sew the sleeve so now i'm going to turn the flay after which i'll join it to the basic sleeve and the veil nets already gathered the, the veil nets like this so all you just need to do is run a straight sewing, then pull the thread to form your gathers. Now the already gathered um, two fabric, I'm going to just sew on it like this i'm going to run the same so just like we've done this we're going to continue the next step like so we'll continue like that all through then after that we're going to bring out the measurement just close the sleeve and we attach it to the main dress so don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel if this is your first time on our channel and as well you can leave your comments in the comment section and if you have any style you'd like us to to make you can please leave that in the comment section below so i see you next class bye